Hi, my name is Igor and I'm a professional Agile coach. Welcome to Agile Fundamentals. Today, we're going to talk about evidence-based management or EBM. Evidence-based management is empirical framework made by scrum.org. Guys behind scrum.org, they wanted to create a framework that will help organizations to basically measure, manage, and systematically improve the value they deliver to their end users. That's why they created evidence-based management. Let's dive in and let's understand more about this interesting framework. So evidence-based management is the framework that you know, value more evidence over opinions. It asks the team and organizations to prove value with data or evidence, not the gut feeling. So I always like to say, give me the data. I don't care about your feelings. So I honestly don't care about I feel, I believe, etc. I'd like to say and hear more. I know we have the data, we have the evidence, we have the experience, we have the facts before we make decision. So I like to call it evidence-based, decision making. Evidence-based management focus on four simple focus areas. We also call them key value areas. Key value areas such as current value, unrealized value, time to market, and ability to innovate. These four value areas, they're giving the team and the environment a 360 view of the product health, how much value they deliver and how they can turn unrealized value into a real value. On top of that, evidence-based management is using the approach called goal metric loop that starts with set the goal, pick measurable evidence, run a short experiment and inspect and adapt. That is the approach embraced by the evidence-based management. My suggestion for every team starting with this empirical framework is start small and create big impact. Many teams fail because they start big. I like to say, nail it before you scale it. Start with some baby steps and then expand. You can begin with one metric on one product, prove success, validate the data and the value that you deliver, and then start expanding. And for those that are already familiar with Scrum and its philosophical nature of empiricism embedded into Scrum, the evidence-based management such as Scrum relies on transparency, inspection, and adaptation. Three key pillars that build trust internally and externally. Without transparency, meaning having things visible and well understood, you can't inspect. And without inspection, unfortunately, adaptation is pointless. So. In a nutshell, an empirical framework that is really powerful to change the way how you think and to make decisions based on data and evidence, not your gut feeling. So your return on investment can be actually maximized. If you learn something new about EBM, feel free to follow me as I'm going to launch a playlist for evidence-based management and all its metrics. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.